hello 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 welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you are new <clears throat> this is excuse me a video that is very unplanned as in it wasn't in my monthly sort of plan schedule i've not really filmed uh, that's beside 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 the point whatever um i'll catch you up in a call and chat over the weekend um but i am here because on wednesday evening my good friend emma emma colorista over on instagram follow her out um follow her to check out to check her out even text me to tell me that there was some new items available from the lovely day i went so i didn't even think twice which i normally do and ponder and did that and i thought nope i am buying them because on wednesday evening Derwent released these absolute beauts. So, Derwent have released some new ink tents colours, expanding the ink tent range from 72 to 100. Now, there is one missing from this set because it was it wasn't available when i bought them so i will pick it up it, it is burnt umber um which i'm not that fussed about these will keep me very very busy but i wanted to jump on swatch them tell you what i think because i absolutely adore the ink tense pencils i'm just i'm just gonna see if they're here they should be um, I don't think these are them. Well, let me just check. Nope, they are my polycolors. One moment. Oh, they're downstairs actually. I've used them. Never mind. Oh, they're not. They're here. Time lies. Here they are. In my little case. I've got some spurs. And they are all well, well used. However, this pencil case now is going to have to be retired for something else because 100 are not fitting in here and that makes me sad. So props going to treat myself tomorrow to a new pencil case. Anyway, here they are. I have arranged them in the colour order that is on the website when you're just buying the pencils. This is the order they put them through. And quite nice, not going to lie. We've got some, I've got really nice lemon yellow um gold golden sun mango now mango is one of my favorite chroma floor pencil colors so i'm very excited about that we've got an orange sorbet a wild flame paprika persian red i'm fully obsessed with this pink flamingo because i'm gonna grab my swatches um i love them i absolutely love the chroma floor pencils but there's just not a pink. There is pinks, but I would like a light pink, maybe. And now we have a light pink, I'm hoping, in what is um, Pink Flamingo. We've got Sugar Plum, Amethyst looks beautiful, Nightshade, Lapis Blue, Gorge, Denim, again, another favourite of the Chroma Floors, um, Dark Cerulean. This is absolutely gorgeous, Malibu. I really hope it's a quite nice light blue. There are beautiful blues already in the ink tent. And from here, especially, I just absolutely love. So I'm very excited about the next pencils. Mineral blue, sea breeze. Then this mint leaf looks beautiful. Olivine, olivine, I don't know. Gorge. Jungle green. This lime green looks brilliant. Burnt umber would come next, but haven't got it. I will get it. Natural brown, asphalt, storm dust, and dark mint. So we have some dark greys. These are very, very dark. Like these, are, these are almost black. They probably are blacks to be fair. Indian ink, Chinese ink. And then the greys. Yes, there's, uh, this is like a greeny grey, really. We've got a blue grey. There's a reddish grey. And then there's black again. There's nothing really light. So I'm hoping that these light colours 
really, really complement the set. So I have already, because I'm not going to torture you with that, um, I've already set up the swatches. I'm going to bring us in. Now, I've been debating how I'm going to do this. I thought, do I swatch them all, then we'll activate them? No. Let's swatch and activate as we go, because then I can talk about each one. We can see how they dry. I've just grabbed a really, um, just a cheap water brush that come with some colours, I think. Um, I need to really get on top of this swatch book. I just kind of give up a little bit. I did my distress crayons, there's my Dermot drawings. These are my Lyra colours. Um, horrendous. But I think I might just pop a piece of paper just underneath whilst we do this. So, hope I'm zoomed in enough. I hope you're going to pick this up on camera. I am going to talk, so if you are not a swatchy kind of guy or gal, um, then please fast forward till I've done them all. But I am going to talk about it. I'm not going to sharpen them um, because I'm not doing any point. So I'm going to start with Lemon. Um, nice. Yellow. I do like to just go over that bit again. I just like to get it as dark as it could possibly go. Um, and I'm going to keep flicking back, so I'm not going to apologise. I'm giving you my opinion, so I'm going to be flicking back and two so I can see. Um, yellows, I do love a sherbet lemon. Um, and this does look a lot lighter. So, let's activate this bad boy. Hoping, oh, I've got a dirty water brush from my... Um, immense double page that I am working on at the minute, which is a buddy colour with Sam in Circle of Life. So let's just see what it's like. That, and obviously my brush isn't super, super wet, so let me just... is can you see much so look at that that's the lemon it's much lighter if i then flick myself forwards to like sherbet lemon and sun yellow is like bam yellow yellow much softer and muted love 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 already right let's go for this gold <clears throat> this is exciting not going to lie Oh, I've got a bit of something in there. Oh, the end of the pencils. See, guys, that's why you should probs um, sharpen. I'm not, and I'm not going to, I'm not mad about it. It's a swatch. I just call it over it. Um, so this is nice colour. This is a bad swatch, by the way. I'm going to probably start it more here now. Go dark. So this one's gold, which is interesting because I feel like there's not really... I do love using my ink tents for gold in Han Hannah Carlson books. Um, and I feel like this now is absolutely perfect for like my lightest colour. Obviously, ignore that bit where I add some on the pencil there. Oh. But that's lovely. I mean, it's looking a bit... Let me turn it to the light. So I tend to use... Um, like a mustard for my gold. So mustard now into that gold is going to be perfect. It's just going to take it to that little next level. Gold and sun. I have a feeling this is a chroma floor. And again, I... I do love it. I'm just scribbling because the ends of these are a little bit dirty, but ooh. Let 
My swatch book's absolutely ruined because I only chewed it. Um, and I really don't want to have to redo all my swatches, so I need to think what I'm going to do because I need a new book. Because I still have so many pencils to swatch. <sighs> okay, so this golden sun, this is looking good. This is looking kind of like um, a coppery orange, which again is nice. Oh, no, actually, it's a really bright. Yes, that. That's gorge. That is so nice. I mean, I just want to try and that lemon now is absolutely beautiful i'm just going to see what that would work really well if that would work really well with like the sienna gold um maybe the cadmium the golden yellow maybe there's a little bit similar to it but that just seems a little bit richer in color beautiful <clears throat> i'm excited we're going for the mango so as i said this is one of my favorite chroma floor colors it is absolutely beautiful i know it is an intense pan because i have it So I probably won't even sharpen these when I colour with them because it doesn't really bother me when I'm with a watercolour. If I can get into the space that I want, I just want to try and darken that. I like to see how dark it goes. Um, if I can get into the the image I'm working on, fine. I don't um, I don't sharpen. Sorry, my head bobbed in. Um, Oh yes, that is beautiful. So I'm not going to lie, I haven't done any research into these. We all know what the intense pencils are like if we have, if you have them. Um, I am obsessed with them. It was like they were quite possibly my first water medium. I absolutely love that's just. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I'll obviously I'll zoom out when they're all dry. We can see them better. Um, orange sorbe, what a gorge name. So I'm just gonna flick because I can't remember what the oranges are like. Uh, there are mm. orange wise. We have tangerine. There is mid familiar, but it's quite red. Burnt orange is quite dark. So this could be really like a really good orange. Um, and just check the. Ooh, I like. This looks like a really good orange. <clears throat> I always go light to dark on my swatches and then I can always like drag it back through. Um, I would, oh I know lots of people use like um, watercolour pencils and things like that as like a dry pencil. I just would never with definitely not the ink tents because the colour when you activate them, it's like it's been switched on. Beautiful. That's a really true orange compared to what we already had in this set. So that's beautiful. And with that mango, if I threw in one of them darker oranges, oh yes, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. <clears throat> I'm a little bit excited, can you tell? Wild Flame. I'm really zoomed in, so if, if I'm... I randomly cut anything off. I apologise. So again, I do think there are some quite nice reds already in there. I'm just 
just going to have a look. Um, just to remind myself what we already have. There are quite a lot of nice reds, actually. The dark, they are quite dark. So I'm hoping this is a bit of a lighter one. It looks it. It does look it. But as I say, until you actually activate these, I find it's just quite hard to to judge what the colour's like. Oh, it's like a watermelon. I mean, I've got a really watery brush, but that's beautiful. I'm so glad they've done this because I love the Inktense pencils. I think they activate beautifully, but they are a very dark pencil. I do like to use a water medium and then colour over the top. Um, and I do find that quite hard with an ink tent, but I do just quite like working in ink tents anyway, especially in a Hannah Carlson book. They just work really well. And now that I have some of these lighter colours, like, look at that. Paprika. That wild flame is it's so nice. It's a really orangey red. Already orange. I don't know. I am a fan. <sighs> so I'm going to keep this brush quite watery actually because one, it activates it a lot easier. Oh, this is really nice. That is really, really, really nice. We're getting closer to that pink flamingo I'm very excited about. We're now on Persian red. I should have brought my drink up, but I was that genuinely excited to come and do this. I've not even grabbed a drink, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. Oh, that is so nice. That is a really, really good red. It's absolutely beautiful. That is like the red that is missing. Just a, a nice, just red. <clears throat> right, here we go. I always, I've always wished for a really pink, pink in these pencils. Then there hasn't been one. Is this going to be the one? I can't get my I hate um, swatching on this side of the page. I just find it really difficult to put my hand in a position. Just get that red off because I don't want the red to... <sighs> Oh, here we go. I'm going to let it dry. It is a pink. It's quite a reddish pink. But I like, I do like it. 
Yay. <clears throat> Sugar plum. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so this is reminding me of like a colour soft, like a blackberry. So be really interested to see how these are going to fit. into the rest of the set. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. That colour is stunning. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And I do like the purples in the ink tents. They're some of my favourite colours. And that is 715. So it's going, it should technically fit between deep rose and thistle. And, and I think it will, look. So it's going to go there. It's lovely. Absolutely gorge. Obsessed. Amethyst time, here we go. You know what I'm going to be doing this weekend now, don't you? Ink tent page. Seven, one, seven, three, five. I'm sorry, I just want to see where. Seven, three, five. So this should technically sit between dusty, dusky purple and mauve. So it would go here, seven, three, five. I will not be re-swatching these. Oh, I'm obsessed with that. Is beautiful. I absolutely love them. I've been dying to do an ink tent page for ages. But you know, you just do it, never get round to it. This is going to make me get round to it. Nightshade. I like, I have this colour. Is it a chroma floor, maybe, or a pro colour? I feel like I've, I have it in a pencil. Or is it a light fast? It looks like a light fast colour. Oh, wow. Wow, the intensity. I just of that purple is immense. Seven 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 seventy. So it would go after deep purple. Yeah. It is jet it's beautiful. I love, I absolutely love them. Derwin, you have absolutely smashed it. Violet blue. I love a watercolour swatch, not going to lie. They look lovely. I've got a very watery brush, but it's fine. Oh, wow. That is like... Like ultraviolet, maybe. It's so nice. I 
I'm excited about this. So 825, this reminds me of the lightest blue in the ink tent. I can't think what it's called, but I do love it. Iris blue. Um, what's that? 825. So, I mean, technically it would fit between peacock blue and navy blue if we're going off numbers, but... Ooh. I love it. A light blue. We have a light blue. I mean, this is light blue, but we have a lighter blue. <clears throat> okay, denim. Oh wow, do you see what I mean about that colour? Like look at that to that, it's like a different colour. It's absolutely. Stunning. There's not one that I think meh, um, they're absolutely gorgeous and now that they're dry, Okay, dark cerulean. This looks good. You can get a really light colour out of these if you were just going to do a really light layer first. But then that intensity of like really putting the pigment down is just... Really nice day, Ah. Three absolutely gorgeous blues that are just going to complement the lovely blues that are already there. Beautiful. I'm not going to lie, this one I'm very excited about. Before I realised that I was just going to buy them all. <laughs> and I was going to show some kind of restraint. This was the first pencil I picked. It's Malibu. <clears throat> Oh, it's going to be good. Yep. Yep. That is quite possibly my new favourite colour. That is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm excited about these now because these are going to be like your chilies. I think this is like mineral blue. Oh. 
I'll try and go a bit quicker, but I'm just a little bit excited. I'm enjoying myself far too much. I've not swatched for ages. I mean, we're nearly there, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That. Is. So nice. That and that together is at another light shine on it it's very wet but absolutely beautiful when that's dried oh i'm excited and the next one sea breeze i feel like i'm gonna love this one greener definitely greener Oh, wow. I'm fully obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed. Them, those three are absolutely stunning. I'm excited about this one. I'm really excited about this one. Mint leaf. Don't let me down, mint leaf. Don't let me down. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is absolutely perfect. I fully love it. That is a pure, like, mint green. It is absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> olivine, olivine, I don't know. I'm sorry, do went. But here we go. We're getting into the green greens now. Ooh. Oh yes, I'm feeling maybe a Forest Kingdom page. That's absolutely beautiful. A gorgeous, gorgeous olive green. How nice. Light shine on it because it's very wet, but it's cute. I have to say this genuinely, and I'm not just saying this. This is not, I'm not, it's not an ad. I'm, I've genuinely bought these myself and was genuinely excited to get them. Seriously, not one colour so far has made me kind of go, hmm. Yeah, that'll do. It's a nice addition. I'm like, wow, beautiful, beautiful, stunning. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Hello. Jungle green. Look at you. Coming through with you, absolute green vibes. That's stun. That is absolutely beautiful. I love apple green. It's one of my favourite intense colours. And that is like, it's beautiful. Lime green, I'm excited for this one. You'll be happy to know there's only four left. I, on the other hand. I'm a little bit sad. So lemon, lemon lime in the chroma floors is like one of my favourites. And I'm really, really hoping that this is the intense version because...
Yep, it is. It's absolutely beautiful. You've absolutely made my week. Derwent. Burnt umber we can't do. I haven't got, so I'm going to jump that one. And we'll go to um, natural brown. Oh yeah, it's a really, really good brown. We just flip back to the actual other brown. They're really nice. Yeah, so we've not really got like a brown like this. We've got some really dark, and we've got some ready browns, and then some like earthy tones, but not really a a brown brown. So I'm feeling that. And then <clears throat> we are on to these um, three greys, really. Um, we've got asphalt. Now that is like a brownie grey, almost like a a French grey. I like it. I really like that actually. I hope I'm going to zoom out and show you everything in a minute. We've got two left, storm dust. And they've dried now as well, so. I love the feel of an Inktense pencil. The way it lays down is just really smooth. Um, I love it. It's like really feels like really creamy. It's nice. And obviously, when it's dry, it's permanent, isn't it? So. So there's a, there's a difference there. I like that one. That looks, I'm gonna let dry. I'm not sure. It's definitely a lighter gray and this one just sounds absolutely beautiful. Dark mink. Oh. This looks like a maybe, you feel like a ready gray. Oh, that's lovely. That is really, really nice. Obviously, it's wet and shiny, but that is really, really good. Well, I've swatched. And there they are. How absolutely gorgeous are they? I am absolutely made up with them. So... We've got a really nice yellow, really light yellow, some nice golden yellows into these like light oranges. This Persian red is beautiful. The paprika is absolutely lovely. They're all lovely, so I'm not going to go through it like that because I can't pick a favourite one. They're absolutely gorgeous. This pink flamingo, now that it's dried, is beautiful. Amethyst, lovely lapis blue gorgeous this dark cerulean now that it's dried that blue is so good and bring it up so you can see in fact shall i do that with them all so you can see them a little bit better if you have ink tents and you're debating whether you're going to extend to the full hundred i would say absolutely go and do it because you will not be disappointed these colours are absolutely stunning. 
and I cannot wait to do a page with them and add them to the rest of the mix because the light ness of these i think is just going to complement the richness and darkness of the original um they are stunning and i am obsessed with them already like that is absolutely beautiful <clears throat> not going to keep you any longer i'm definitely not going to color tonight i want to go and sit on the couch and just chill because it's half term um i, I am going to get some coloring done this weekend i promise and completed pages but i'm going to leave it there i'm going to say thank you so much for sticking with me while i absolutely fanboy over these pencils because they are beautiful um i can't wait to use them i can't wait to see what i do with them i would love to know if you are going to get them if you've already ordered them which is your favorite color out of these which one are you thinking yeah i am having that that stunning lovely absolutely lovely i love it um give us a thumbs up leave us a little comment let me know what you think thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel as always i'm gonna say bye um have a fabulous weekend and i will speak to you all very very soon adios mm -hmm.